Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to set up sales path in Salesforce Lightning Experience. Whenever we monitor our record, we read it from top to bottom. Now what happens if you can visualize it on a single glance? Visualizing in such a way that giving you the idea what course of action or steps you need to take note of to successfully close a deal. With the help of sales path, it will lead you to your path to success. So let's do it. Let's create sales path in Salesforce Lightning Experience by clicking Setup. So from the quick find, just type in Path, then click on Path Settings. So if this is your first time to set up Sales Path, it will ask you to enable the Path Settings first. So since I've already enabled it earlier, I can now see the new Path button here. But before clicking this new Path button, you may also want to enable the Remember Users Path Preferences. It will allow you to see the key fields and guidance for success without expanding it from the record page. Now click on New Path. So let's start by putting in the name of the path. So I'm going to put in New Customer Path. And then I'm going to select the opportunity as the object. So you can create a sales path for each record types that you have. So I'm going to select New Customer and I'm going to select this page as a pick list field. Click on Next. So when you click Next, you will see the stages available for the opportunity based on the record type that we selected. And per stage, you can provide a guidance for each step of the path. So in here, you can also um, select the um, fields which you want to display on the key fields section. And in order to do that, you just have to click the Add and Update Fields link. Then select the fields from the um, available fields and move them over to the selected fields. So let me show you. So let's say for the qualification, I'm going to add an account name, the amount, and a close date. Then click on Save. So next is the guidance for success. So we use this to provide some instructions to the user so that they know what they are supposed to do at this stage of the opportunity. So let's say for the stage of qualification, you want to add um, guidance for success. So once you enter the guidance for success, you can now click next. And then you just have to activate the path. And to um, celebrate the success with on-screen confetti, you just have to enable this. So we can also set this up by choosing the stage where you want the confetti to appear. Let's say you want the um, close one. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna select the um, close one um, stage. You can also select the celebration frequency. I'm gonna select the always, of course. And then just click finish, that's it. Now let's open an opportunity records to or record to check this change. All right, so I have here, so I created this opportunity OITZ opportunity 001. So when you um, as you can see, we now have the um, stages at the top of the page, and when you select the qualification stage. Since we, um, these are the key fields that we um, added earlier and since we added the guidance for success for the qualification stage, when we change the status to qualification, it will give you the, or it will show you the guidance for success that we set up for this particular stage. So that's how we set up the sales path in Salesforce Lightning Experience. Thanks for watching.